the dark side. It's in every man and woman, and now I'm learning it's in every toddler too. It's episode 53 of In Real Life. This episode is brought to you by Vital Proteins. Revitalize your hair, skin, and nails, and more with Vital Proteins. The other day, Paloma went for a glass bottle, and when I took it from her, she not only cried, but she proceeded to pinch me. And then later in the day, she was eating, and towards the end of her meal, she started dropping pieces of food on the floor. And I was very clear, Paloma, no, and she knows that word. And she looked me in the eye, she took another piece of food, dropped it, and then laughed in my face. Uh, and don't even get me started with my four-year-old. I mean, this kid, every day, there's like epic, bloody dinosaur battles. Uh, he likes to play planes with me, and inevitably, he becomes the bad guy. I'm the good guy. And as the bad guy, he knocks me out of the sky. He takes glee out of basically destroying me. And so these are just small examples of how my children have a dark side. And they show that dark side to me every single day. And I have to tell you, I am, un I am uncomfortable with it. And there's definitely some grief there, you know, because I am taken back to memories when they were just a little newborn, so innocent, and the biggest drama was like a blowout diaper or something like that. And now they are becoming more individuals, right? And they're becoming more complex and their full nature is kind of coming to light. And um, let me just say, you know, the dark side is something that I've had to kind of struggle with myself. And it's not a part of myself that I really like. Um, you know, I used to live in the dark side. I was a compulsive eater. I couldn't stop, you know, eating sugar. And I was 60 pounds overweight and I was super unhappy. And I kind of lived in that darkness. And so I've worked really hard, you know, these past 15 years to come into the light and to heal and to show up to food healthy and just life healthy. So when I see my children, you know, showing me this dark side, wow, I don't like it. Um, but by me wanting to suppress it or make it go away or shut it down in them, that's not really fair either because I'm denying them the opportunity to be fully human and whole. And, uh, and that's not good either. So what we've been doing in my family or our household, I should say, is we always tell our children, any feeling that you have is okay. You know, so you can be angry, you can be upset, you can be frustrated, whatever it is, you know, because we never want our children to deny their emotions because that can be very destructive. But it's what you do with your feelings. So we, you know, especially with Griffin, because, you know, Paloma at this point is just too young. I mean, really, if she does something like, you know, throw food on the floor or something like that, I will tell her no. But then I really just try to redirect her at this point. But with Griffin, you know, he's at the age where he understands more. So with him, it's like, okay, if you're angry or frustrated, let's stomp our feet. Let's um, breathe in and out. <sighs> Let's uh, run around outside. Let's hit a pillow, okay? But the rule in our house is you cannot harm yourself, any property, or anyone else. Um, and if you do, so for example, when he pushes down Paloma, he has to go upstairs. We take a little quiet time. He has to think about it. And then we talk about how we can make it right. Um, so this has kind of been working and what we do in our family to kind of both let them experience their discomfort and anger, but also to not be destructive with it. With all this dark side stuff, I think the deeper invitation is for my own healing. Because like I mentioned earlier, these are parts of myself that I don't like in, my, in myself. I certainly don't accept them or love them. I wanna just shove them away. So for me, I need to go there. I need to kind of open up that vault and just learn to love that part of myself that can be dark, that can be negative, that can um, make some choices that aren't healthy. Because as I can love and embrace that part of myself, I can do that with my children. And that's where real healing happens. And you know, it also makes me realize wow, maybe I'm not as big of an unconditional lover of my children as I thought. You know, I always think, oh, I love my children. I'd do anything for them. But when they start showing some of these behaviors, when they relish sometimes in harming others or kind of teasing others or doing things that aren't nice, um, it's harder for me to love that part of them, you know? And wow, is that a conditional love? Uh, and that's not the way God loves, you know? And so it's really been great for me to see that in a way because it shows me the depth of God's amazing love because there's thousands of people that run around this earth every day, you know, harming and causing chaos and just terror and really wanting to harm people, you know, and understanding the consequences of their behavior, unlike a four-year-old. And, uh, and yet God loves them, you know? That is the power of that love. And uh, so I get to tap into that love to accept and embrace myself unconditionally and the same with my children.
And now a word from our sponsor. If you've been watching our videos for a while, you know that I love gelatin. It's a wonderful anti-inflammatory protein that's so good for our hair, skin, and nails. I particularly love the brand Vital Proteins. But I think the question I get the most about these products is what is the difference between collagen protein and collagen peptides? Well, let me break it down real quick. The collagen protein, or the green top, is the traditional gelatin product. This is the one that gels when heated and then cooled. So if you want to make tasty gummies, healthy jello, or a delicious creamy flan, this is the product you want. Now keep in mind you can still use this in your morning coffee or tea, or even in soups, but just know that if those products go cold, your liquid will gel. Now the collagen peptides, or the blue top product, is water soluble. This means you can put it in hot or cold liquids and it will never gel. It's also hydrolyzed, which means that the protein is actually broken down further through an enzyme process. So this makes it easier for our bodies to absorb the nutrition. Now some people prefer the peptides for that very reason, because it's more bioavailable. But other people prefer the collagen protein because it's more filling, it's thicker, and it digests more slowly. So the choice is really yours. If you want to give either or both of these a try, you can save 20% off right now with the promo code MAMANATURAL. Can you show me where is the butterfly? Where's the butterfly? <gasps> Where is the fish? That's right! Where's the pig? Where's that elephant? Yay! Where is the zebra? Where's the zebra? Yay! Go boom! How about you? Have you ever been surprised by your child's dark side? And how do you handle it in your home? Share with us in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. This helps us spread the word and reach more natural mamas. Just so you know, we do two videos a week. On Tuesdays, it's usually some kind of natural living tip or trick. And on Thursdays, it's always the IRL show. So be sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of these videos. And we'll catch you next time.